made some plays in the passing game too. Obviously, that helped us win the game. So, you know, we're going to dive into the film a little bit as a team today. We'll be able to, you know, even make more corrections and build upon the game even more you know, this afternoon. You gave your team you about four sacks against Wisconsin. What corrections do you need to make specifically to kind of? Bring that number down. You have five. You have a five sacks in the first four games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Wisconsin's a good team, and uh, you're not going to be perfect like we talked about in the past weeks. It's not going to be a fairy tale all season. There's, there's going to come point in times when, uh, you know, other teams are going to try to beat you. And, you know, they got, like you said, they got to our quarterback a little bit. But uh, the good thing is we, we still came out with a win, and we can go into the film and make these corrections, knowing that we did win this past Saturday. Jake, with a, with it being a, a night road game, is it? You know, Wilton seems pretty comfortable, pretty confident. Is from your perspective, is this a big game for him? Can can this be a game where he's, you know, kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say prove something to himself, but can it be one of those kind of games? Shoot, I think he's, you know, it's it's, it's a big game. Every game's a big game for him. Um, every game, he's he's continuing to improve, prove, you know, something to himself. You know, you look back at where he was week one, and you know, he just continued to steadily improve and against tougher and tougher uh, defenses each week. So. Um, we're excited, you know, not just for him, but for this whole team to get on the road. And, you know, a road test is always a good test for a team. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll see what happens on Saturday. We're excited about it. I would see. imagine, like, in home road games, especially for a quarterback, uh, communication in the huddle is huge and at the line of scrimmage communication. How has he developed in that area from week one to last weekend? Yeah, well, Will's done a great job, obviously, in, uh, of getting us all in position to succeed. But it's it's never a one man job, and it's it's the coaches getting us prepared during the week. It's the O line and tight ends echoing calls across the line, communicating. You know, if there's pressure coming from one side, we're going to know what's going to happen on the other side. We're communicating with each other. It's the receivers communicating if there's corner cats coming. The running backs being able to identify communication and then make the necessary adjustments. So it's really not a one man job. But you know what we're doing right now is each man is doing their job, and that, that's a credit to uh, us and our coaching staff. I'm sure it's hard. I'm sure it's hard for you that you've been probably blocked by a defensive back the way that Grant was. How hard is it to kind of protect yourself when they go low like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, it's part of the game. Mm -hmm. It is. It's 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 a set. It's it's tough because Grant was playing really good, man, and he, he he works so hard, and you know, you never want to see that happen to anybody. But uh, you know, we're trying. We're we're out there chop blocking defenses too, um, and you know, it's perfectly legal for them to do that to us as it is for us to do that to them, and. You know, like we always talk about, football's a violent sport, and these things are going to come with the game. So, um, and just you know, prayers out to Grant. I, I, I know he's going to, you know, be able to recover from this and you know, do whatever it takes. Is there a technique to it where you kind of have to protect yourself, or when you see somebody going low, is it just? I mean, uh, you're you not really thinking yeah. in the yeah. middle of the play. I'm right. protecting myself. You're thinking. You know, how can I advance my buddy running the ball? You know, you're not really thinking, how am I going to protect myself? You're sure. trying to sacrifice your body for, you know, somebody running the ball behind you. Jake, you've been kind of going back to Wilton. I mean, his comfort level, a lot of that, I would think, has to do with you. He, you know, I think he, a couple 20-yard passes yesterday, that 23-yarder that to get things going. What is, the, I guess, the link between you two like? Because you are one of his favorite targets. Mm -hmm. Hey, I mean, Wilton's been – one of my best friends since I've got here. And I'd say, honestly, we're like brothers at this point. Um, family are great friends. Uh, we've been on, you know, vacations and trips together, room together. Um, and, you know, obviously we put in a bunch of work on the field as well that kind of all plays its own part into the relationship we've been able to build. And then that obviously has translated to the field. So, um, you know, I, I guess I've just popped open for Will and sometimes and he's found me. Um, it's not just me. You look at, uh, you know, Darbo came through with a bunch of huge plays for us on Saturday. Um, JU's coming through. Grant Perry doing an excellent job in the game. Our running backs are catching the ball, running the ball to the backfield. It's all little things. Um, some people might say it's, you know, one person or another person who's really playing, you know, who is the comforter for Wilton. But it's everyone's playing a, a role in that. First night game of the season, what's the difference in playing? You know, obviously, it's just later, but does it change the way you get up, you prep, anything like that? Or uh, Personally, it's a love-hate relationship for me with night games because I, I love the night environment. I love the, you know, it gets a little bit cooler at night. The atmosphere is always up a little bit. It reminds me of high school football, the Friday night lights. Um, but then again, you got to wait around all day, and that, that's the only bad part I can say is you're kind of just waiting and waiting to go out and play. You just sit around and watch football, or what's your... Uh, yeah, you. I mean, you wake up, you have breakfast, um, you got walkthroughs, meetings. Uh, there is some downtime, treatment time. Uh, 
but Coach Harbaugh does a good job of, you know, not just, you know, everything we do throughout the day has a reason, gets us ready for the game. Jake, you know how hard it is as a, a rookie to come in and play at this level. Talk about what you've seen out of Rashawn Gary making that attempt. Yeah, I mean, and it, it was hard for me, and I even graduated. I graduated high school early, which that gives you a huge, huge advantage. So um, especially when they're coming in, like um, Rashawn and Devin Asiasi, Chris Evans, um, some of these other guys that are playing, um, it, the speed of the game is night and day from what they're used to. Um, and not only just the speed of the game, but now you have a playbook probably three or four times as big as what you did in high school. Um, and then you have to learn that and be able to execute it against tougher and tougher competition each week. And to see some of these guys executing it, and at a high level too, it, it's special to see. And, you know, it, it, I'm excited for those guys. Have you gone directly against Gary in practice? Uh, a few so, times, yeah. Okay, what, what does he have that um, – Attributes that are going to grow over the years. I mean, we've also we all see his size. That's that's obvious. You kind of look at him and you can see NFL size coming out of high school. But his speed and quickness and power off the ball. And um, one thing is natural his football instinct. That's something you really can't teach. And it's great that he has that because that that has a whole other element to his game. Last one for Jay. Thank you for your time.